there, welcome to this Mark's Reviews and Tutorials video. This is another video on a hire car. I've had this for a week now, about 400 miles, I think it is. She's a Chevy Equinox, and uh, it's interesting. We've come, we're in this is uh, Castle Rock, USA, is where we are. Tell by the big cars there. And this has been an interesting drive because it's not a good car we've just come straight from germany we were driving a vw passat station wagon and this is an suv sort of similar sizes suv it's a bit taller than the passat was you know we've been on the autobahn at 200 k's have a look at the review i put up on that car because it was fantastic this isn't super superb for load size so i'll open up the back for you i normally don't like to put up reviews of things that i don't particularly like so the bags only just fit whereas in the passat the station wagon was a lot longer we we're putting like another bag here behind it so it's, it's got a good bit of space here obviously but that's not the main thing about this car i mean no electric tailgate it's just everything is so built to a price it is so clear that the goal here was to make an inexpensive car get it out the door really really cheap everything about it the drive you know nice enough seats it's a good basic car but this has got a very little engine and us highway speeds nothing like autobahn speeds obviously but this thing leaves you not feeling confident let's just put it that way we'll come around the driver's side now and uh, have a look it's clean enough lines nice and sharp and all the rest of it but it's just as soon as you get in and start to do anything i drive a lot of cars and this is just very unimpressive so we'll start him up there's no sat nav on this it does have a reversing camera good clear i'll stick it in reverse for you good clear reversing camera with the thing that moves as you turn your wheel that's all good but everything about it is not intuitive the placement of things every time you pull up this the engine start stop button is pretty much always out of sight um, you just can't see it. When you're starting off in a car, that's awkward. You see, I've got um, a vent-mounted phone holder. It's almost unusable because of the proximity here. That won't go over any further. Same on this side. You can't put it there. So everything's just crammed up and, and really, really small. But the engine is, you know, not impressive. It's a petrol engine. We're not getting great mileage. Uh, it's just after the European cars that we've been in, I drive BMW normally and regular viewers of my channel would know that. It's just clear, no automation on the heating. Um, she's just a base, base, base. I'm sure they sell nicer, better models, but the infotainment system up here, I, for the life of me, can't work this out. I, you know, I spend my life fixing electronic items and doing stuff. I can't work out how to work this one. It's got a menu system here but I can't get that to go away. I want that info thing all to disappear and it just won't. The cruise control was simple enough. Lane assist is there. It's got collision assist. It's all that sort of stuff's on there. But this here and the little mirror, it just totally doesn't make any sense to me at all. As I said, we've been in this thing for a week now and uh, I just can't work it out. So let's have a look under the bonnet. But so far as space, so far as intuitive, it's fail, it's fail. So far as feel on the road, drivability, it's fail, it's twitchy, the brakes grab. It's done 50,000 Ks, I think it is, 56,000 Ks, something like that. So yeah, sadly, I'm just not impressed. It's got the automatic down here, in and out cup. One of the very good things about being in the United States. Anyway, we'll turn this off, we'll go and have a look under the bonnet. See, if you look here, the info, it, it says, oh, you turn the handbrake on. It says, oh, this, just putting up silly notifications that really aren't that helpful. Anyway, we've got an auto headlight. Um, we've got your electric windows and your adjustment for your mirrors and all the rest of it. You've got auto door locks. A lot of the cars have become very standard with a lot of this sort of stuff at the moment. Anyway, have a look under the bonnet. All right, here we go. We're under the bonnet. Um, as soon as you want to lift it, things are very basic under here and the strut is um, <laughs> very light with a little plastic cap on the top. This looks like she's had a bit of a rough life, she's pretty dirty. Under here it's a hire car after all, it's got your airbox up there, nothing is standing out to me here. There is a little turbo, look at that, my gosh, this must be a tiny motor if it's got a turbo. It's definitely got a turbo there, a little one. 
So um, <laughs> when it's gutless and all over the place like it is, that, that means she's uh, got to be a little ecotech. Someone please put in the comments what size engine that is. But uh, there it is, batteries under the bonnet, all your main controls, washer bottle, it's all here nice and easy to service. But the impression I get, she's just made, this is below the level of a Korean car, like a Hyundai or a Kia or something like that. It's just bolted together for a mass produced, pump them out cheap, cheap, cheap. And uh, it's doing the job. But you know, this is 56,000 Ks on a very brand new car. I, I don't know how she'd go long term.